Bearded Bros Golf Show. We're back again for another week. I am Rod. And I'm Marcus. In the women's game, LPGA, um, I'm going to go ahead and shout out the PXG Troops, PXG Gang Gang, Celine Boutier, winning two, Celine Boutier winning two weeks in a row, um, winning the Scottish Open this week, the Evian last week, her first major. So shout out to her balling out on these gals. Um, went in by yeah. two strokes today, took a commanding lead of three strokes after round three. Um, just a solid game. She's not some crazy long hitter, just really accurate and, you know, tee to green. It's very solid. I, I just enjoy watching her play. Um, she's not, you know, very boastful and out there. She's just humble and, and has really nice game to back it up. So. Second week in a row. What do you think about her and kind of not taking over the women's game, but really putting herself as a a winner and cementing herself as a winner? She's been up there and had the name recognition, but hasn't necessarily been a big winner. So now winning two weeks away, going into the uh, women's open next week. Yeah. um, I mean, kind of always knew the name. I mean, did the, I mean, she was good at Duke and everything like that. And, NCAA championships when they first started really televising, you know, college golf and things like that. But um, good to see her stick through it and everything with all the, you know, close calls and finally getting it through. And then, you know, she's just building momentum and, and rolling with it because, I mean, you go back to back on the LPGA, that's a feat in itself. I mean, I feel like that is freaking probably, all, I mean, I it's clearly as difficult as it, to do it as they would on the PGA. Because the yeah. ladies definitely are always competing. They're always going low. And then, of course, you know, the cream's going to rise to the crop or to the top. I'm sorry. And, <laughs> you know, you're seeing it right now with Boutier. And you just got to hope yeah. that she has enough energy to make it last. I mean, she's still probably, you know, mid-20s. So she's got the energy. It's just can she can she withstand the, another push and, you know, fight yeah. uh, some more U.K. wins and, Hopefully there's not bad weather and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I think, um, you know, we've talked about parity and consistency in winners this year. Like, it's all over the board. Yeah. So many first-time winners. So, to see somebody able to, you know, go back-to-back on totally different formats and styles of golf, I think is pretty awesome. If she's able to just, you know, capture a top five, top ten next week, I think she'll really continue to solidify her name in the women's game and really just garner yeah. the attention that her game does deserve. And I hope that she does get that for herself. Um, it's very interesting that I saw an advertisement for it when I was kind of looking at some articles and Nellie Corda was who they were advertising, who we love. We enjoy her game. She's got a sweet swing. Love her. But it's like, you know, it's just it's very interesting how, you know, certain organizations, who they choose to market and make as a face. Um, so, again, I'm just interested to see some ladies rise to the top and consistently win. We saw some really talented golfers, Allison Corpus, Lily Avu, um, Patty T is always near the top yep. of a leaderboard. Um, so it's just good to see, again, a consistent winner. Um, so kudos to her and hopefully con- continues that and continues to rep for PXG. Um, proving the haters wrong about the quality of their clubs. So <laughs> there you go. 